Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with 90 Second Philosophy and Cardinities.org. Today we're going to be continuing with categorical logic, looking at categorical relations. Today the operation we're going to be looking at is known as conversion. Now, conversion you're allowed to do on E or I statements, but not on A or O statements. Let's take a look at why. So, conversion is switching the subject and the predicate of a categorical statement. So, we said we can do it on E statements. Let's take a look. No S R P. We fill in our Venn diagram and shade in the middle because nothing can be there. If we switch the subject and predicate, we would get no P R S. So we would end up with the exact same Venn diagram. Once again, shading the middle. So we're allowed to do conversion on an E statement. Let's take a look at the other statement we can do conversion on, which is an I statement. Some S R P. Once again, we make our Venn diagram and put an X in the middle, showing that there's at least one S that is also a P. If we switch the S and the P, we get some P R S. Our Venn diagram is going to be identical. The X is going to be in the middle once again, because there's at least one P that is an S. So conversion is allowed for E and I statements. That was conversion. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at Contraposition, which is only allowed for A and O statements, and then Abversion, which is allowed for any categorical logic statement. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.